This spur gear was made completely by hand. But how exactly do they do it? First, an aluminum cylinder, already cut to size, is mounted onto the lathe. Slowly, it's turned and shaped until the outer diameter matches the required size. Once that's done, the center is drilled out with a bit, lubricated to prevent overheating and damage. The surface is then machined again to smooth it out and remove any residue. Next, a recess is cut into the middle of the cylinder to reduce weight. The center hole is drilled further to fit the shaft that will be used. At this point, the gear plank is locked onto the shaft. Since drilling the center removes its alignment, the cylinder has to be tapped gently until it sits perfectly centered. Once aligned, it's firmly locked in place. Now it's time for the gear hobbing machine. The cutter slices down vertically, slowly carving out each tooth. Lubricant is applied constantly to keep the cutter cool during the long process, one cut at a time at different angles until all the gear teeth are formed. When finished, the gear is brushed clean of chips and residue with a brush and thin plate. And that's the final product. A gear made from old steel, by old hands, with old tools. Who needs cutting-edge technology when you've got cutting-edge wrinkles? <laughs>